Episode number two of the Tennessee Volunteers Dynasty Mode here on NCAA Football. And real quick, before we get into our game against the Pittsburgh Panthers, gonna go through a little bit of scouting where we're gonna try to target our guys with low lock levels right now. So you see right there, Malroy's got 12% lock level. That means no one's really scouting him right now. We're gonna try to go and pick up a lot of these five and four star prospects and put them on our board. So Jared Malloy, not Malroy, um, we're gonna put him on the board. He's trying to go to Syracuse and Army right now. We are not yet in his top 10, but if we put a little bit of points to him, then next week we will be able to add more scouting points and eventually try to put him on the squad. Same can be said about Chase Jones. Alabama's in the lead, but really they haven't tried to get him too much yet. Same can be said about Justin Poole trying to go to either Nebraska or Notre Dame, but no scholarships from either of those two schools. We're going to try to jump in there and maybe make a push to get him as well. We're going to go more over the scouting at the end of the video. So after our game against Pittsburgh, we're going to go through more of who we're trying to scout because, of course, we had a bye week in week two and then week three, of course, playing Pittsburgh. But we'll get to see our scouting go from week two to week three. Again, going to go back to the recruiting board. We opened up two more spots on our boards. We're going to pick up a couple more of these four-star recruits. We're going to get more later, but just picking up two more of those guys, get them on the board. Hopefully, we can work towards their top five schools here's the top 25 poll right now bama in first then oklahoma clemson georgia a m iowa state north carolina wisconsin florida miami usc lsu notre dame ohio state louisiana cincinnati michigan utah arizona state indiana ole miss and the rest we now get into our game against the pittsburgh panthers though sec versus acc we are on the road in pittsburgh pennsylvania here tonight Joe Milton still getting the start tonight for the Volunteers with that Hendon Hooker injury. And of course, it will be the 50 year senior for the Panthers in Kenny Pickett getting the start. And folks, if you have not yet, make sure that subscribe button down below for some more Tennessee Volunteers Dynasty mode here on the channel. The support for episode one was absolutely ridiculous. So thank you all for that. Make sure to keep dropping those likes down below. And I'll try to get another Tennessee Dynasty video this weekend. So make sure you hit that like button down below for more Tennessee here on the channel. Pittsburgh's a good squad, man. This should be a very good game in real life. Pittsburgh was ranked up to like, what, 15? I think now they're 25 after that loss against the Hurricanes last week, but still a very good Pittsburgh team with an explosive offense. Again, you got Kenny Pickett, who might be one of the best quarterbacks in college football right now. And let's see if we can get the win on the road tonight at Heinz Field. Again, should be a great one. And next week, however, we start SEC play at home against the Florida Gators. What a game next week. I mean, the schedule keeps getting harder and harder for Tennessee. But you got to pass this Pittsburgh test here tonight. So here comes Joe Milton from his own 25. He's going to dump it off to his receiver right there in Javonta Payton. Payton for the first down, 10 yards to kick this game off for the Volunteers. Third and eight now, though, from about the 35. Milton going to scramble to his right, looking to throw. He's going to fire. Somehow that ball is caught. Hyatt's got it for the first down. And at gain of 26, the offense keeps moving. Down to the Pittsburgh 35, it's a second and seven for Milton. He gets it to his running back and tie on Evans. Evans for a gain of five, and he'll set up for a third and two for the Volunteers. Here we go. We're going to go speed option to the left. Milton's going to pitch it. Tie on Evans. Can't get there. Oh, wait, they give it to him. Oh, my goodness. I mean, thanks for the spot. I don't know about it, but this drive continues for the Volunteers. It'll be a third and six for Milton. Out the gun looking to his left. He has got his man. It is Bayless Jones Jr., it's only a gain of four, and it sets up for a fourth and three. Tennessee keeps the offense on the field. Play action fake for Milton. Looking to his right. He's got a receiver. Jalen Hyatt again. Give him reception number three on the ball game. And Hyatt's got the Tennessee Volunteers down to the pit five-yard line. First and goal for Tennessee. It's going to be a handoff to the backup running back right there. It is Jabari Small. Small down to the one yard line. Let's see if Tennessee can punch it in with their star running back and tie on Evans. And Evans has got it. Evans is gonna get into the end zone and what a start for Tennessee. They drive right down the field. They deal with a couple third and fourth downs, but still the Tennessee Volunteers go up seven nothing and we got an update on Alabama and A&M. Obviously in real life, Texas A&M upset Alabama this year. However, right now Alabama up seven and nothing against the Aggies. Other SEC scores though, we've got from Ole Miss and Georgia. Ole Miss takes down Georgia 28 to 10. Auburn will be Mississippi State, but a huge upset right there from Mississippi. 
taking down JT Daniels and the dogs as here comes the Pittsburgh offense. Kenny Pickett will keep on a read option and he's going to pick up 13 yards and a first down for Pittsburgh to start this game off. It'll now be a first and 10 again for the Pittsburgh offense. Pickett going to keep on a play action fake looking to throw to his right. He has got his receiver for the first down. It will be Jared Wayne. Waiting for 13 yards to the 39. Now a second and 10 for the Pittsburgh offense. They're going to keep with the passing game. Pick it to his left. He has got the receiver. Jordan Addison. 16-yard completion for the Panthers. And now another first and 10. Pick it on a screen. Going to his running back. It is Israel. Abana Kanda. And he's going to get into the end zone. It's a 23-yard touchdown. Pick it to Abana Kanda on the halfback screen. Just like that, Pittsburgh is going to tie this game up at 7. So here comes Tennessee back with it on a third and two from the 30-yard line. Milton to his left. That ball is tipped. Trying to get it to his tight end. That ball is incomplete. And Pittsburgh's going to get the punt down at the 45. So pick it back with it. Going to keep on a read option. Fakes the handoff to Abana Kanta. And it's a gain of 11 right there for the fifth-year senior. So Pittsburgh now with it into Tennessee territory from about the 50. Pick it looking to throw. Going to heave one up. That ball somehow is caught. Oh, my goodness, Jordan Addison. Addison for 35 yards, and Pittsburgh's all the way down to the 11. For a 38 picket, looking to throw the football to his left. He heaves one up. It's picked off by Burrell, and Tennessee's going to get it back. They turn over the Panthers. Huge mistake by Kenny Pickett, and Joe Milton in the offense get it back for a second and six. He's looking to throw. No, he's looking to run. Joe Milton's going to take off, and he gets the Tennessee Volunteers out of their own five-yard line. So Milton's going to pick up 18 yards and a big gain right there for Tennessee. It's a second and two, potentially the last play here of the first quarter. It's a play-action fake for Milton, looking to throw in the pocket. Going to take a shot. He's got his receiver downfield all the way down to the 10-yard line. It's a big completion to Javante Payton. 117 yards so far in the day for Joe Milton, and what a way to close out the first quarter. Big strike. Milton to Payton, and the Volunteers are threatening into the second quarter. They do have a third and goal, though, from the 10. Milton from under center, looking to throw the football to his right. He's got a completion, and for six, it's Bayless Jones Jr. It's a nine-yard touchdown, Milton to Jones, and Tennessee's going to extend the lead, and we miss the extra point. So it's 13-7 for Tennessee. I still can't get the kicking really figured out in this game, but we're going to sack Kenny Pickett right there. We drop him for a loss of seven, and it will now be a second and 17, now a third and 17 for Pittsburgh. So Pickett dropping back, looking to throw over the top, going to test Flowers deep downfield. That ball's picked off. Back-to-back -back drives where the Volunteers defense comes up huge, and we pick off Pickett for the second straight drive. Trevon Flowers, let's go, man. It will be a second and four now from the 25. Milton to his left. He will find Javante Payton again. He had the big reception earlier. Now Payton is going to pick up 14 yards through the air in Tennessee again. Working the football against Pittsburgh on a second and seven. We go back to the run game. It's going to be a triple option for Milton. He's going to pitch it back to Tyon Evans. Evans has got the first down and a lot more. Tyon Evans for 15 yards on the pitch. And it's another first down for the Volunteers offense. They've got it down to about the 20. It's a third and four for Milton to his left. He gets it to Javante Payton again. Payton's a yard short of the first down. And with our kicking troubles, we're going to go for it. Fourth and one, Millen. We're going to run the football. He's going to keep on the option. Pitches it to Tyon Evans, and Evans has got it. He runs over a Pittsburgh defender for a gain of eight down to the pit 10-yard line. And it's a first and 10 again for the Volunteers. Millen looking to throw, stepping up in the pocket. Joe Millen going to try to run it himself. He's going to get in. Big touchdown run for Joe Milton. He's going to take it from 10 yards out. And Tennessee's going to go up by 12. Going to try and make it 14 with a two-point conversion. And Tyon Evans is going to get it. So the Tennessee Volunteers now go up by 14 points. We have an update here from Tuscaloosa. And the Alabama Crimson Tide up 17-3 to against Texas A&M in that one versus five matchup. Pittsburgh's going to get it back with a minute left. And Kenny Pickett's just going to throw out a bounce on a third and five. We'll take it. So we get the football back here. We've got only 16 seconds left now. It's going to be a second and 19. We might as well take a shot. Oh, we shouldn't have taken that. Kenny Pickett's going to be picked off by Mathis. And now Mathis might take it back for six. Can we stop him before the end zone? He's tripped up by one of our linemen. And that's going to come up huge because Pittsburgh's going to have it for a second and goal from that five-yard line. Pickett looking to throw. He's got a man. 
and he just overthrows him. Wow, bad bar right there by Kenny Pickett, and it will force Pittsburgh to kick a field goal, be it it's a chip shot, but let's see if they can hit. That one is up, and it is good, so the Panthers get on the board before the end of the second quarter. They will make it an 11-point game as the Tennessee Volunteers on the road on prime time in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, are up by 11. The score is 21 to 10 in the game, where the Pittsburgh Panthers were favored it in. Tennessee's going on the road, and they're handling business so far. We're going to need a big third and fourth quarter, though, out of the Volunteers as we try to move to 2-0 on the regular season. Pittsburgh, though, does start with the football from about the 40-yard line. It's going to be a handoff to Abanacanda. Abanacanda to the outside got room to work. He's going to take it all the way down the 30-yard line. Can McAuliffe bring him down? He's going to be brought down at about the 16-yard line. Big run right there for Pittsburgh to start this quarter off. Here comes Pickett again looking to throw the football over the middle. That ball is caught by Jacques Louis. It's going to be a first and goal opportunity from the one-yard line. Shockey Jacques Louis, his first reception of the ball game. It's a first and goal. Pickett's going to keep on a read option, and he's going to get in. It's a one-yard touchdown run here for Kenny Pickett as he's going to get his guys back within five. We'll see if they will go for two to try and make it a three-point game. They will not. It's a 21-17 lead now for the Volunteers as they get the football back here on a second and 11. Milton with a strike. To his left, he will find his receiver right there in Tillman. Cedric Tillman for game 19 down to the 42-yard line. It will be a second and four now for the Volunteers offense. Milton will keep on a read option. Looking to his left, he's trying to get a block. Milton's actually going to break off a tackle instead. Joe Milton still on his feet, working his way. Oh, he stepped out after a gain of 17, though. Joe Milton with a big gain, and it sets up for a third and nine for the Volunteers offense. Milton looking to throw out of his own pocket. He will find Jalen Hyatt again, but it's a fourth and inches. And you know we're keeping the offense on the field. We will go to an option to our right. Milton tries to go to a shovel pass, and that one's picked off. Can Milton bring him down? Pittsburgh can take the lead with the touchdown right here. Milton's chasing after the defender, and he's going to be brought down at the 10-yard line. But it's a costly mistake for the Volunteers on fourth and inches. So now Pittsburgh with it from the 15. Pickett looking to throw up the middle. He's got Shockey Jacques Louis, and he's going to get in. Touchdown for Pittsburgh. They take the lead over Tennessee for the first time in this ball game, and it's 24-21 in favor of the Panthers after that big interception by Joe Milton. So here we go. The Tennessee offense back with it on a first and 10. Milton's going to take matters into his own hands. He's going to scramble off the pocket, and he's going to slide down after a big pickup right there. He's going to slide tackle a Panthers defender instead. But first down here for the Tennessee Volunteers from the 40-yard line. Milton looking to throw the football. Looking to his right. Joe Milton's going to fire, and he's going to find his running back out in the backfield. Big play by Jabari Small. And now it's a third and five from about the 18-yard line. Milton looking to throw. Scrambling to his right. He'll look over the middle. He has got his man. It is going to be Peyton with the catch and Payton's gonna get into the end zone. Javante Payton with a huge 18-yard touchdown catch and it's gonna put the Volunteers up by four. It was the run after the catch that really did it right there for the Volunteers as we check on Tuscaloosa. Look at that. Zach Calzada and the Aggies have tied this game up at 17. Definitely one to look out for right now at Alabama, but it's a third and 12 for picking the offense. He's going to be picked off again for the third time. It's Flowers. Trevion Flowers, his second interception in the game. It's a pick six. Yes, sir. Big play by the strong safety. And Tennessee's going to go up by 11 with the interception for a touchdown. As we go to the fourth quarter, we missed the damn extra point again. But still, 10-point lead for Tennessee. It's a 34-24 ball game going in to the fourth quarter. Here comes Pittsburgh. First and 10 from about midfield. Pickett on a quick screen to his left. That one's picked off by Burrell. It's Burrell's second interception. Pickett's got four in the game. And Burrell's going to take it all the way down. No, he gets in. Oh my! Two straight pick sixes. It's Warren Burrell with the interception. And Tennessee goes up big. The score is now 41-24 with six minutes left to play. Pittsburgh's going to need a miracle as here we go, man. Pickett's going to find his tight end in Lucas Krull for a gain of nine down to about the 25-yard line. But again, Pittsburgh's got to make up for some points quickly right now with five minutes to go. It's a third and five. Kenny Pickett looking on the screen. He's got a Botacanda again, and that's short of the first down marker. 
Vanna Cannon will not get there. And it's now a fourth and three for Pittsburgh. Of course, they have to go for it right here. Down by 17 points. Pick it to his right. That ball's incomplete. Big play right there. But there's going to be a flag on the play, and it's going to be on the Volunteers. It's going to be a roughing the passer right there on Jaquan Blakely. And now the Pittsburgh Panthers are going to get another shot in this ball game. It will be a second goal from about the two-yard line. Pick it on the handoff. Abana Kanda is going to get into the end zone. And Pittsburgh's not out of it just yet. They're going to make this one a 10-point game once more. It will now be 41-31 to 31 as Tennessee will get the football back. But real quick, it is final from Tuscaloosa. Bryce Young, B. John Robinson, and Alabama are going to barely pull out that game. They win it by six by a score of 23-17. to 17. So we got to take care of business now against Pittsburgh. We have a third and 14. We go screen to Tyon Evans. Evans doesn't have all the blockers downfield. He makes two guys miss. But Tyon Evans is short of the first down marker. And it's going to force us to punt the football to Pittsburgh. So with two minutes left, here comes Kenny Pickett. It's a second and seven. Pickett to his left will find his receiver. It's going to be Addison for the first down. Jordan Addison's got it. And now a third and four for Pittsburgh down to about the 22. Pickett over the middle. That ball is caught. First down to Jared Wayne. Two minutes left to play. A minute 48. It's a second and 10. Pickett again looking to throw the football. He's got time in the pocket. Kenny Pickett surveying the field. He has got his receiver down to the one yard line. It's Taysier Mack. Gain of 14 for the Panthers. It's a first and goal. Pick it on the fullback dive. Touchdown, Gavin Barthlome. Probably butchered the hell out of that, but touchdown for Pittsburgh. They're down by three with all three timeouts. They will kick the onside kick. If Tennessee recovers, this game's probably over, but we can't pick it up. Oh my goodness, Pittsburgh comes down with it. Jordan Addison picks it up. You gotta be kidding. The Panthers have life. There's a minute left. Here comes Kenny Pickett on a third and 10 over the middle. It's Addison again. Jordan Addison to the 15-yard line. The Pittsburgh Panthers need a field goal to tie a touchdown. Could potentially win this game on his second and 10 picket. To the left, what you doing, McAuliffe? Shockey Jacques-Louis gets his second touchdown of the game. And Pittsburgh comes storming back. They go up by four. They have 45 points in this game. And now Tennessee's fighting from behind. 40 seconds left on a second and eight. We're going to get bailed out by Jalen Hyatt on that play. Hyatt with a tremendous reception for a gain of 18. There's 38 seconds left. First and 10 for Milton. Dropping back, looking to throw the football to his right. He's got Hyatt again. Down for a gain of 21. Tennessee needs a touchdown to win the game from the 35. Here comes Milton looking to throw over the middle. Oh, he had Hyatt again, but he's going to miss him. That's where Joe Milton has struggled over the past year or so, but it's a second and 10. Milton's got to get something here. Scrambling to his right, going for Payton. It's off the helmet of Javonta Payton. And now it's a third and 10 for Tennessee. Milton looking to throw, being chased. Oh my goodness, we're lucky that wasn't picked. I mean, such an inaccurate pass by Milton, but here's the problem. It's a fourth and 10. We're going to need 10 yards. Pittsburgh brings the blitz. Milton barely gets it off. What a grab. Jacob Warren, the tight end, gets it. And we call timeout with 18 seconds left. We've got life. 15 seconds left. First and 10 for Milton. To his left, he gets it to Tillman. What a grab. Come on, you got to get down with nine seconds left. Cedric Tillman gets Tennessee down to the two. No timeouts for Tennessee. They have to throw the football. Here comes Millen, booting it to his right. He's got a man. Touchdown. It's going to be Javante Payton. Javante Payton's going to get into the end. There's the eighth catch of the game. 118 yards. And Tennessee's going to go up by three with five seconds left. What a drive. What a game. Tennessee's on 48-45. Pickett's going to get one shot to the end zone. We will see if he can unload it 45 yards or not. Pickett's not even going to get the opportunity. He's sacked for a loss of six. And what a game. Jaquan Blakely with the sack. We almost lost the game because of his roughing the passer earlier in the contest. But Tennessee's going to win an all-time classic from Pittsburgh. They win it 48-45. to Unbelievable. I mean, we almost choked that game. That, that was crazy. I mean, you had the shovel pass interception. You had the onside kick recovery by Pittsburgh. I thought it was over, but with 40 seconds left, Joe Melton drives the Tennessee Volunteers offense right down the field. And on a fourth and 10, what a damn grab by Jacob Warren to save the game. And your Volunteers are undefeated still as they are 2-0 before SEC play starts 
next week against the Florida Gators. Before we end this video, I'm going to go through a little bit of scouting here, but oh my goodness, man. What a game. We are now into week three scouting. What I was showing you earlier was week two scouting. We're going to look at some of these prospects. Guys like Chase Jones, man. I put 500 points into him. We're behind like UTSA and FAU. Alabama's in the lead. We're going to remove him from our board because really we're just not making up any points against those powerhouses. Again, UTSA is not a powerhouse, but like in Alabama, we can't compete completely with recruiting against Alabama. We're going to need somewhat of an edge against some of these other schools. So here against this battle with Nebraska for Justin Poole, we're losing 145 points every week against Nebraska for this battle for Poole. So we're going to up the amount of points we're going to put into the Justin Poole sweepstakes per week. So we'll see if we can get him. A guy like Ron Jackson, we just entered his board, really. And now we're number seven. No one's really scouting the man just yet. He's got Texas in the lead, but Texas really isn't going after him. So we're going to try to get Ron Jackson on it to the squad. A guy like Nate Wesley here, we're already number one on his board. We're only putting 60 points into him each week, and we're still gaining every week against LSU. So we don't really need to put much on Nate Wesley unless LSU comes back or one of the other schools tries heavily recruiting him, and then we'll up our points to try to get him. Cole McCarty is another one of these guys. He's a four-star recruit. We're only 135 points back against Auburn, but the problem is we're putting all of our points every single week in trying to recruit Cole to the team. We'll see if we can get him. Arch Manning, like, I'm going to keep him on the board, but it's not looking good. Texas a and is going to have him because we're losing every point in Arch Manning every week. It's just going to be tough. A guy like Ryan Evans here, we're 900 points down against Florida, and we're losing 210 every week. I don't know if we can get him. Yeah, here's back to Arch Manning. We're losing 120 every week to Texas A&M. It's going to be tough to compete. I'll stay in there. We're going to schedule a visit eventually with Arch Manning, but I just don't know if we're going to get him. Ryan Evans is basically a lock, so we're just going to remove him from our board. We're not going to get him anymore. Taylor Novak, I haven't invested any points at all in him, but we're behind Southern Miss. I'll leave him on for now. Maybe if we can try to jump in later, but probably not. Donnie Wilson, we're losing 405 points every single week. He's going to really want to go to Nebraska. I doubt we're going to be able to get him, but you got guys like Travis Mack, who we haven't recruited at all, and no one else is really recruiting, or John Kerry. And we're still in first place and we're still gaining against these other schools. So those guys we can probably bring in and we probably don't have to invest too many points every single week on trying to get Carrie and Mac on adding them to the team. A guy like Wilson, again, I don't think we're gonna have to, we're gonna have the chance to bring him in. Curtis Glover, I haven't invested any points on him just yet, but still we're a thousand points behind Penn State and we're losing 750 every single week trying to get him. Kyle Rogers, no one's really recruiting him. He's got scholarships from Utah and VTech, but still, if we invest points in him, maybe we'll be, we'll be able to jump in. Ben, I doubt we're going to be able to get. Ingram, Williams, all these guys were pretty low on their board and we're losing points every single week trying to recruit them. So now we go back into talent pool. Guys who haven't been scouted much by other schools, we're going to try to jump in at the last second and bring them onto the team. So we're going to try to recruit all those guys and we'll get back to you with those low lock level guys in tomorrow's episode, of course, for week four, when we have that huge matchup against the Florida Gators at home. It is our SEC home opener. What a game we have in store for you folks. Tennessee is still undefeated 2-0. Try to make it 3-0 next week against the Florida Gators. So folks, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more Tennessee Volunteers Dynasty mode here on the channel. Make sure to leave a like if you want to see Tennessee Volunteers Dynasty this Saturday. I'm gonna try to get that one out for you guys. But again, you gotta hit that like button if you want Tennessee this weekend. So thank you all for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more. And Mamba, forever.